Staying in the southeastern part of the country, aggrieved members of the Yabia, GSM and Component Dealers Association have filed a suit against the Yabia state government at the state high court. The members who are accusing the government of demolishing their shops given to them by the immediate past administration say they want justice to enable the authorities reverse the order. Disgruntled traders of the Abia GSM and Component Dealers Association are in court to seek justice over the demolition of their shops, many already nearing completion at a place called School Road. Some of the dealers who spoke claimed they got an approval and certificate of occupancy from the Teodor Oji administration to build the demolished structure and the one government to allow them continue with the building on the site, numbering up to 650 shops. We have ICT Center here at the back, two-story building. This place is well planned by town planner. The government is there. We, we uh, you know, work through the government to do everything we're doing here. If you look at the place we're saying now, it's a very comfortable park. It is capable of, uh, uh, you know, absorbing up to 1,000 vehicles. Planned by the government for us. About uh, 2009, they came here and then stop us for doing our business that we should look for a place outside this place that they don't want us to uh, be here the Ministry of commerce to the government itself they approved the place for for us which the letter issue us a c of o signed by then the governor of abia state Although the matter has already been adjourned at the State High Court in Aba, counsel to the plaintiff says they have a case as a legal document back in the building of the complex exists. This case was filed a long time ago and uh, served on the defendants, the government and the ministries and the agencies. But for one reason or the other, it couldn't go on because the state government hadn't, through the attorney general, filed their response. Then suddenly they brought an application for extension of time, asking the court for leave to enable them to come in and file their own processes. So that is the motion we came for this morning, to enable the council for the state to move his application for leave and extension of time to be allowed to come in, so that we can now proceed from there. But he wrote a letter to the court, uh, praying for an adjournment on the grounds that he wasn't disposed as a result of ill health. The Abia state government insists the exercise is being done to restore Abba to its original master plan and not meant to victimize anyone. People will uh, always claim that they got uh, government approval to do an illegal thing. But when you investigate properly, you will discover that they may not have followed due process even in trying to get government to give them that approval. For instance, they may have come to the government house to ask for a certificate of for occupancy without actually taking government officials to that point. Or even when they take government officials to that point, they may not even have taken the government officials to the right places. That is what usually happens. Well, there is no government that will give uh, uh, authorization to an illegality. While the legal action taken by the ABIA, GSM and Component Dealers Association to get justice gathers momentum at the High Court, the question they are asking is, was the immediate past administration ignorant of the above master plan?